Hi friends, in this session I am going to explain how to find the constants using Cauchy's Riemann equations. The question is find the constant a and b so that the function f of z equal to cos x the whole into cos hy plus a sin hy plus i sin x the whole into cos hy plus b into sin hy is differentiable. That is to find the value of a and b given that the function f of z is differentiable. Solution given f of z equal to cos x the whole into cos hy plus a into sin hy plus i into sin x the whole into cos hy plus b into sin hy which is of the form f of z equal to u plus i into v where u is the real part of f of z and v is the imaginary part of f of z. So let us assume u equal to the real part of f of z that is cos x the whole into cos hy plus a into sin hy and b equal to the imaginary part of f of z that is sin x the whole into cos hy plus b into sin hy. Now find the value of a and b using the given condition. Given condition is f of z is differentiable. Therefore, u and v satisfies CR equations because if a function f of z is differentiable, then their real and imaginary part must satisfy CR equations. CR equation means Cauchy's Riemann equations. So CR equations are dou u by dou x equal to dou v by dou y and dou u by dou y equal to minus dou v by dou x. These are the CR equations. So now finding dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y and dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y from these two equations. Let us assume this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Now differentiating equation number 1 partially with respect to x. So that means keeping y as constant, x only variable. So the left hand side becomes dou u by dou x is equal to the right hand side is here differentiating partially with respect to x. So this cos hy plus a into sin hy. This function, this becomes just keeping this as constant and this only variable. So first write the constant term plus a into sin hy into then differentiate the variable cos x. And we know cos x differential value minus sin x. It is differential value of cos x is minus sin x. Now differentiating equation number 1 partially with respect to y. That means keeping x as constant and y only variable. So here cos x is constant and now this function cos hy plus a into sin hy this only variable. So the differential value of equation number 1 partially with respect to y is dou u by dou y is equal to right hand side this cos x constant so first write cos x constant term then differentiate the variable function here cos hy plus a into sin hy which has two terms so first write the differential value of cos hy then plus write the differential value of a into sin hy so cos hy differential value is sin hy plus a is constant so write the constant term then sin hy differential value is cos hy assume this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 now differentiating 
equation number 2 partially with respect to x we can find dou v by dou x so just uh, differentiating both side of equation number 2 partially with respect to x so left hand side becomes dou v by dou x equal to right hand side dou v by dou x means differentiating partially with respect to x so keeping y as constant x only variable so here sin x only variable cos hy plus b into sin hy this is a constant so first write the constant term then write the differential value of this sin x sin x differential value is cos x let us assume this is equation number 5 now differentiating equation number 2 partially with respect to y so differentiating partially with respect to y means y only variable keeping x as constant so see here sin x is constant and this factor this only variable so differential value of equation number 2 partially with respect to y is dou v by dou y equal to right hand side sin x constant into differential value of this function this function has two terms so first write the differential value of first term then plus differential value of second term cos hy differential value is sin hy plus here b constant so b into sin hy differential value is cos hy let us assume this is equation number 6 so now we have these four values dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y now write the first cr equation dou u by dou x equal to dou v by dou y which is implies from equation number 3 we have dou u by dou x value cos hy plus a into sin hy the whole into minus sin x which is equal to dou v by dou y value this from equation number 6 we have sin x the whole into sin hy plus b cos hy and see here left hand side and right hand side having common term sin x so just to cancel so this equation becomes cos hy plus a into sin hy into the whole into minus 1 that is minus of this value equal to sin hy plus b into cos hy now just to rearrange this equation like this that is cos minus cos hy then minus into plus minus a sin hy which is equal to sin hy plus b cos hy this also can be written as minus cos hy now take the sin hy by left side and this minus a sin hy by right side so this becomes minus sin hy equal to take this minus a sin hy by right side so this minus becomes plus so plus a sin hy and plus b into cos hy let us assume this is equation number 7 now we have the next CR equation is dou u by dou y equal to minus dou v by dou x so this equation becomes by equation number 4 we have dou u by dou y value it is cos x into sin hy plus a into cos hy which is equal to minus dou v by dou x value by equation number 5 cos hy plus b sin hy the whole into cos x and see here cos x cos x which is common so just to cancel 
and this equation can be rewritten as sin hy plus a cos hy equal to minus into cos hy then minus into plus minus b sin hy now just to take this cos hy term by left side and a cos hy times by right side that is which is implies sin hy and take minus cos hy by left side so this becomes plus cos hy which is equal to already we have in the right hand side minus b sin hy now take this plus a cos hy by right side so it becomes minus a cos hy and now see here the left hand side is plus and the right hand side is minus now multiply throughout by minus we get minus sin hy then minus cos hy which is equal to right hand side is minus into this whole term this becomes plus sin hy then plus a into cos hy let us assume this is equation number 8 now just to compare equation number 7 and 8 see here from equation number 7 we have the left hand side value minus cos hy minus sin hy this value equal to this much and by equation number 8 we have minus sin hy minus cos hy value equal to this much see here the left hand side value of 7 and 8 these are same so their right hand side value also must be equal therefore we can write a sin hy plus b cos hy equal to b sin hy plus a cos hy this in place now see here left hand side we have one a term another one is b similarly in the right hand side also one term which contains the constant a and the another is another term contains b now just to separate a times by one side and b times by another side so just to take this a cos h y by left hand side and this b cos h y by right hand side so this equation can be rewritten as a into sin h y and minus a into cos h y which is equal to already we have here b into sin h y now take this term by right side so this becomes minus b into cos h y and see here a and this here b is common so we can write here take a by outside so here remaining term sin hy and see here minus cos hy equal to in the right hand side b is common so take b by outside here remaining term sin hy and see here minus symbol and here remaining term cos hy and in the right hand side and left hand side we have the sin hy minus cos hy is common so just to cancel these two terms, we get a equal to b. Now substitute a equal to b in any one of the equation 7 or 8. So just to substitute b equal to a in equation number 7, we get minus cos hy minus sin hy equal to a into sin hy plus b b into cos hy but b value is equal to a so this term becomes a into cos hy and here a is common so take a by outside so here remaining term sin hy and here remaining term plus cos hy and in the left hand side here minus 1 is common so take minus by outside so here remaining term 
cos h y and here remaining term plus sin h y and in the left hand side and right hand side we have this term is common cos h y plus sin h y similarly here cos h y plus sin h y so these two values just cancel so finally we get left hand side is minus 1 equal to a already we have a equal to b therefore b value is also equal to minus 1 so the answer is a equal to minus 1 and b value is also equal to minus 1 thank you